If you have buttons as part of your home automation setup, you'll want to check out the Button Controllers app, which is built right into your Hubitat Elevation system. It offers a quick way to configure your Zigbee and Z-Wave buttons with all of the powerful capabilities found in our most robust rule building app. To get started with button controllers, access your hub and go to the Apps section. Add a built-in app and select Button Controllers. Then open the app. Now we need to select the button device we want to configure. You'll find all the buttons in your system listed here. If your device is not here, you'll first need to add it to your hub and you can do that in the Devices section. Note that you can select more than one button here, but if you do, they will all have the same configuration. For this example, we're going to configure a button controller with two buttons that can have multiple capabilities. We're going to name this rule Nightstand Button. Next, we need to add our button actions. Now, I can do that by pressing here, and it will create a new action for button 1, but since I know I want to program the push capability for both buttons, I will select Push in the drop-down menu right here. Now, I'll do the same for the Double Tap function. Alright, now let's select the actions for button 1. You'll see there are a whole lot of action types you can select. These are the same action types you'll find in Rule Machine. In fact, the better you understand Rule Machine, the better you'll understand button controllers and vice versa. You can refer to our documentation for more details on the action types, or check out our Rule Machine videos for a tutorial on conditional actions. For this rule, our button is sitting by our nightstand, and we are going to use it to arm Hubitat Safety Monitor. So we will select Control HSM here, then select Arm slash Disarm Hubitat Safety Monitor, then we'll select Arm Night, and we want no delay, then we'll say we're done with that action. We can select as many actions that we want to occur when the button is pressed just by using these drop downs here and repeating the process, but let's just keep it simple and leave it at one action and go down here and we'll hit done. Now of course if we arm Habitat Safety Monitor with a button, we will also want to disarm it with a button as well, so we will program the double tap function of button 1 to disarm HSM. Again, following the same path, we're selecting control HSM, then arm disarm, then selecting disarm right here, and hitting done, and hitting done. So that is button one. Now depending on your button's capabilities, you may be able to configure different actions if the button is pressed, held, released, etc. So let's show you what that looks like on button two. Now we'll use this button to control our bedroom dimmer. Let's start by programming the actions to turn the dimmer up to 100% when button 2 is pushed. It's the same process as before, only we're setting our dimmer level. We'll select our dimmer here. We're going to bump that up to 100. And we'll add a nice little 2 second fade to that as well. And okay, we're done with that. Done with that. Now we'll program the double tap function to turn the dimmer all the way off. Now I'll just fast forward that because it's basically the same thing. Okay, now what I really want to show you here for button two is some unique actions for when the button is held and released. Now we did not pre-fill the held action, so let's click here on this button to add another button action. We'll select button two, then select held. Now you'll see an action for us to configure, so we'll select that. And we're going to configure this for a dimmer. And we'll set this to start raising the dimmer level. So we'll go through the same process as before. We'll select done. And done. And now our button 2 is configured to start raising the dimmer level when the button is held. Now one thing you need to know about programming a button to start raising the dimmer level when the button is held is it will continue to raise the dimmer level even after you release the button unless you also program that button to stop raising the dimmer level when it is released. Now again, we'll go through the process using our drop downs to program button 2 to stop changing dimmer levels when released. We're controlling dimmers, selecting our dimmer, and then we're going to hit done and done and that is it so that is a quick overview of button controllers as you can see it is pretty limitless in its capabilities now for more details on what those capabilities are check out our online documentation at docs.hubitat.com or head over to our online community at community.hubitat.com lots of great ideas there 
Now that is it for button controllers. Thanks for watching and thanks for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.